Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching people do wolf cups. <laughs> I feel like people are starting to learn actually how to do them. Like it was very rocky in the beginning. It's gotten a little bit better, but I'm still seeing fails. <laughs> so uh, let's see what we got today. Up first, we have a video by Jonalyn Joy. My name is Jonalyn Joy, or you can call me JJ. Okay, fine. JJ. Hi, JJ. Oh, and she is she's following my tutorial. Hopefully, JJ, I did you a solid on this one. I am going to cut my hair. Not just any regular haircut, though. I am going to do a wolf haircut. It's gonna look so good on her. Can we just talk about the vibes? She already has the cute little bang going on, and with all that that layering and that texture, it's gonna look fire on her. I will be following a Brad Mondo tutorial. He's basically the hairdresser of YouTube. He does tutorials, he does reacts of other people's hair videos. Is that what I am? <laughs> the hairdresser of YouTube. You know what? I needed an ego boost today and I f got it. Woo! <laughs> You know what would have been better? The hairdresser of social media. But we can work on that. I am very terrified if one day he comes across my channel and sees all of my hair videos and reacts to one of them. I am very scared to be judged by him. Why is everybody so scared of me judging them? I'm not trying to be mean. I am just simply providing my feedback in an aggressive manner. That's all I'll say about that. Before we get into the dirty works of things, let's start with my bangs. I section off this middle part right here, and then this part is just for framing, so I just tuck it into the back of my ear. This is the shape that I got. As you can tell, there's a little triangle on my head right here, and you want to keep that shape. Let's start off by doing a little piece. Wow, that did some damage. Okay, we're doing a little bang moment first. Okay, I love a bang. I think she rocks the bang, and I like that she's keeping it longer, like a little bit under her eyes. Like, I think that's hot. I think that's sexy. I think that's modern. I think that's everything that she needs right now. This is what I like to do. I just cut upwards and just start snipping away until I get the shape that I'm really, really satisfied with. I'm going to cut off starting from the top of my lip and just working downward. I want to understand why she's cutting the kind of details of the cut before she actually does the major cut. Like usually we do like the cut cut, you know, the majority of the hair first, then we dry it, we do the bangs, we do the face framing, and we kind of refine everything. But she's doing it the opposite way which is very creative i'm always open to new techniques <laughs> i'm sorry to brad for not doing you justice if you're watching this it looks pretty good actually we're going to move on to the actual haircut i'm going to have to take my hair out of this ponytail section off my hair cut it off to a decent length then put it back into a ponytail and then we're going to proceed with the wolf cut again i would do that opposite i would first do the wolf cut because what happens is it kind of looks a little bit straggly at the bottom when you have very long hair and you cut a lot off and you do very short layers it gets really straggly so at the end, you might have to do a little trim and poo on the excess hair. I would do it the opposite way. Let's do the wolf cut first, and then let's trim the length. This is how long my hair is. Been a while since I cut my hair. Ho oh, ho ho! Holy shit! Yo, your hair is mad long, and it's quite beautiful. That is a lot of hair. I am questioning now if I did a mistake. Yo, she did that! She went for that so quickly, and I loved it. Yes, yes! I needed a dramatic change today from somebody. That is a lot of hair. No, it's fine. Hair grows back. Another one down. Why do I always get so emotional every time I do this? <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh, yo, she's going for it so quickly. Oh. <gasps> The damage has been done. Why do I kind of miss her long hair? Usually I love a good chop, but like, I don't know. She really was rocking that like excessively long hair. I think it's just because everything's one length right now. It just doesn't, it's not the vibe. We are moving on to the finale, which is to do the actual wolf cut. Yes. Let's do it. Can she pull it off? I mean, she better be able to because it's like literally the easiest thing to do in the world. It's like just put your hair in a ponytail and cut the shit. Sorry. Whoa. That was aggressive. Put your hair in a really, really high ponytail. Okay, the next step, actually another easy step is to wet your hair. My hair is out of frame. So what I'm going to do, which he did not do in the video. So if I'm doing this wrong, I have no one else to blame but myself because Brad did a whole different technique and I'm doing a whole 180 with it. So you're not following my tutorial. So you lied and liars they lie i'm going to cut off this much we're just gonna do it mm. all right there you go another chunk of my hair gone i love this video because she's doing so much if you do a wolf cut you have to cut a lot of your hair 
off or else you're not gonna see the difference and she is doing it. By the way, if you pull your hair up to the middle, you're gonna get a lot more layering kind of like in the crown area. If you pull your hair more to the front, you're gonna get less layering back here and more layering around your face. I think we're going to cut off more hair because why not? I can see the purpose of wetting your hair now. It does cut through your hair very, very easily. Yes, wet your hair. It really does cut easier. You just get also way straighter, sharper lines. It's all good. Oh gosh, this is looking really good so far. Is this how you short hair people feel? Like there's no weight on your head? The fact that she thinks her hair is short. <laughs> Girl, this is short. I don't even want your hair like that. I want like here. This is long. Some of us, like, it's been years growing this out. It's like, uh. I decided to go shorter. Hell yes, we did. Oh, well, you did. I feel like I was somewhat a part of that. I don't know why, but I, mm, us? Is this an us thing or is it a you thing? I don't know. Oh my gosh. One more time. I promise this will be the last time. Wow. Oh, I'm in love with her hair. I'm in love with her hair already. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I cannot wait to see this blown out. This actually gave me a wolf cut. What else would it have done? Now the final thing I'm going to do, part my hair right behind my ear. And this was in Brad Mondo's video too. So what he did is take this section, brush it away of your face where the shortest length is, which is right here. Cut straight. Okay. Okay. It literally frames your face. She's refining her face framing, which I love when people do this. This is in my tutorial, but like people never do it, so. I'm having a whole dilemma right now because I don't know if I like it. I don't hate it. I think I just put up the bar really, really high for myself. It's not bad. It looks really good. It would look better if I styled it. This is potentially what my hair would look like with styled wolf cut hair. I think it's the fact that I'm not used to having such short hair like this. I'm so used to having long hair. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I don't know how you're not obsessed. It looks incredible. This is the vibe for you. This is everything I wanted for your hair. The highlights are so cute. Everything came together. It looks phenomenal. Great job. Oh my god, I love it. Up next, we have a video by Hadley Grooms. You can see here, this is all my hair. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, that hair is so long, so luscious, so thick, so beautiful. However, I cannot fucking wait until she does a wolf cut on this because I would love to see layers in her hair. I would love to see this more rounded, more like shaggy and get rid of some of that length. Like I think that's gonna totally spice up her style. I'm going to be trying to follow, mostly follow Brad Mondo's wolf cutting video. I love how long it is, but it is just so heavy. So I'm hoping by adding layers, I will be able to keep the length and lose some weight. Yes, that is a good idea. Let's see you do it. I'm going to go wet my hair and put it in a ponytail and we'll get started. She wet her hair, win for me. Don't mind me, I have my hair perfectly brushed out for this video. The second I even get it slightly wet, it is extremely hard to brush out again. Use a leave-in conditioner when you're doing hair cuts like this. It'll help you so much brush through your hair as you cut it. It's a good secret. Okay, that took me 30 minutes. Listen, that high pony is ponying, babe. Yeah, okay, so my hair is like as long as my arm. I want that. I want that feeling of just like luscious locks of hair, just like. So I'm gonna hold it up. And I know it's not as brushed as it should be, but my hair literally just isn't meant to do that. Leaving conditioner, please. That noise was like. So, okay, there's like that much at the top. I'm gonna take a piece out from the back so I can see where. Oh, this is a bad idea. Okay. Oh no, this is getting bad. <laughs> She's pulling that piece out from the back and it's just like destroying this ponytail and her hair gets so tangled so easily, you can tell. Well, she literally said that, so we know. But um, that's a good idea. So if you don't wanna lose any length when you're cutting a wolf cut, make sure you take a piece out from the back of your hair and see how long it is and then chop there and you won't lose any length. This is the longest piece, so I can cut like this much off. Okay, but let me fix the ponytail and I'll be back. Okay, 
fresh ponytail. I know it looks slightly bumpy, but in reality, this part of my hair is more brushed and straight. Yo, this must be a workout for her. Like my arms are sore watching. I'm just gonna hold and I'm just gonna cut. Maybe I'll hold it over this way. Okay. I have to look in the camera. Okay, wait guys. When you pull the hair up, you get it right like that, and you know where you want to cut, you can squeeze that hair tight to not lose tension on it and bring it down. Just don't readjust your hand when you bring it down. Just keep it in the same place, but you can cut in front of you if your hair is this long. You don't have to keep it up the whole time. Those scissors are getting through there. They are the real champs this video. I know it's like gonna not be even. Okay, having hair cutting scissors like really helps. Okay, this is a lot of hair I just cut off. I guess I'll do thinning shears and then I'll take it out and see how it looks. The amount of you just cut off your hair, it seems like so much, it really does. But for your length, that's literally gonna be nothing. It's kind of hard to tell, but I definitely don't have short pieces in the front. I have long pieces randomly. Oh no, what did I do? Oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to dry it and see, but it is definitely not even. How did that become that? What the hell? But this is not looking good. I do not blame me on this one, okay? Okay, so now that I have blow dried it out, there's honestly not that much going on. I expected for how much hair I cut off um, for it to be a little bit more. Now it does look kind of like here and then here. The layers are a little bit blunt, so I'm wondering if I should do more, because back here, I mean, I don't even think there are layers. Okay, let's see what this would look like. Can you over direct? Now I can't see. I don't know, dude. This is getting spooky all of a sudden. This should be easier than it is being, so I don't understand, and I, yeah. Maybe I should just cut like here. Let's start small. That is a whole lot of hair. You should work in sections. I have a video on how to do face framing that'll be linked below i would recommend taking way less hair at a time that way you can actually cut through all this it's just too much hair at once oh cute <laughs> i might have to fix that a little bit we need to pull it farther the last piece down here on your hand you don't really want to be cutting the length of that okay you kind of want to go in a in a diagonal. So then you have that effect where it's short and then it goes all the way to your length. What you did kind of just gave you like a blunt cut. It was a little bit not right. Ah! She is chopping away and uh, it's getting worse. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is becoming a <laughs> disaster. No! I'm kind of doing something. I feel like I might have to clean it up a little bit. It's a little blunt. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Over direct it farther next time. The more you over direct the hair from where it grows, the more of a soft blend you're gonna get with the layers. Ponytail round two. Look how much shorter it is though. Like it's the same length when my hair is down pretty much, but the ponytail is so much shorter. And it honestly feels so much better. I'm just gonna do a little bit more. Oh, but it's still like at the top of my head. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it and I can see. Yes, yeah, see, that's you're doing it right now. Is that even right? Why is why are some of this so much longer? Is that because I messed up the first time? Yes, that is why. Now I'm gonna use the thinning shears. Okay, we cut a lot more off. I'm excited though, because she needed that extra length cut off. And you know why, because if you don't cut enough off with a wolf cut, it's not gonna, you're not gonna see it. I just cut a bunch of hair off that. I did not mean to do that. Okay, with the thinning shears, I would recommend styling your hair how it's gonna be styled, then going in on the pieces that are chunkier, thicker, and go in and thin out pieces at a time where you see the chunk happening, and do it evenly on both sides. I mean, you can do it this way. It's just too much hair to go through thinning shears. They're like, it's a lot of hair on there. There's something going on. Let's see other layers in the back. It's coming together. <laughs> I'm gonna brush this again. Please, please, not this again, please, please. I can't, I literally cannot see, but. Can you see? Can I see? Of course I didn't prepare you for this. I don't even know what you're doing. Is that the same? That's pretty close. Ta-da! 
this is the final look. I mean, I think there are some areas that are still a little blunt. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Literally, way off my head. But I still have the length I want. And I get to do fun stuff with the front of my hair. This is everything I wanted. I'm so excited. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but she somehow pulled it off. The face framing actually kind of pulled through. It was looking super sketchy, but it all came together. And this is so much better for her. It opens up her face. It gives her this cool, fun vibe, and I am obsessed with it. So I'm not gonna say great job, but decent job. <laughs> up next, we have a video by Sash Balls. We're gonna be cutting our hair. All right. Oh my God, ew, ew. <laughs> oh, do you hear that noise? Oh, we're going for it. This is, it's all happened so quick. I haven't even had time to like process what's going on. Okay, this is good. Oh, bro, if I just cut it while it was wet, it'd be so much easier to clean up. <laughs> She didn't cut it when it was wet, but now she's her hair is wet. And yes, it is so much easier to clean up. It is so much easier to cut. I'm gonna have to make a whole video about like why you should cut your hair when it's wet rather than dry. Might be kind of boring. Never mind. I'm making it shorter and y'all can't stop me. I'm not gonna stop you. I think that's a great idea. I think you should just go for it. All right. Why is it still the same length? Ryan Mondo, explain. Thank you for asking. So because your hair is on the shorter side, you could literally cut your hair probably to this length when it's in the ponytail and you'll still have your length. We're not touching the length, right? We're touching the hair up here. But what you can do is pull the hair. We already talked about this earlier, but we can pull the hair from the back, measure it at the top. But if your hair is this long, it's only gonna measure up to here. So you can literally cut your layers to a questionably short length without cutting any of your actual length. So you're gonna have to go in at the end and cut and refine the length if you want the length shorter. <sighs> yeah, well, I hope this works. <sighs> okay, don't use thinning shears on, on wet hair. <laughs> don't do that. Use it on dry hair. Oh my god, why can't I? I literally cannot see. <sighs> She's chopping everything. Oh! <laughs> mm. And it's uneven. Although, honestly, wait. And it's still the same length. This haircut isn't to cut your length. It's to give you a lot of layers. Cut the length after. Oh my god, I veered off the Brad Mondo tutorial. As does everybody. For some reason, everybody loves to do that. People just like to watch the video and then just like try to remember parts of it and then it never, never turns out like what I did. And then they wonder why. Oh my god. Um, we're just gonna go with it. I'm literally just going buck wild. Is it even? I don't know. Bruh. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Brown Mondo, if you see this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Revealing three, two, one. Ooh. I actually really like it. And Brad Mondo and other people, if you don't like it, that's on you, because I like it. I do not, like, don't ask me, like, how it turned out as good as it did. I love it. This fair cut is very foolproof, as you can see, and um, she slayed. I love this cut on her, and, and everything came together perfectly. I don't know, man. I'll never know, but great job. <laughs> Good, no, decent job. That's what we're trying to say today. Well, the wolf cut does it again. It slays everybody's hair, even when they think it's not going to. It always comes through somehow. Anyways, if you want to check out any of my hair care products or my hair color products, you can do so at the link right down below. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.